What a moment. Argentina, one of the favourites to win the World Cup, have just been beaten by Saudi Arabia. What a display by the Saudis to get what is a valuable win over Argentina and just have set the tone for the group stage. We knew there was going to be shocks in the group stage and Saudi have just pulled off one of the, the big, big shocks. Saudi Arabia, big, big props to you guys. Make sure, guys, you're smashing the like, smashing the subscribe. It is 2-1. Messi's Argentina has just been beat. And to be honest, for a person that's predicted Argentina to go far in the competition, obviously Argentina is still well in uh, position and, you know, to compete at that level. But a big, big trip up because they, they played a Saudi Arabia team that they were pretty much dominant in the first half, Argentina. Getting a penalty, scoring through the NL Messi um, was, you know, imperative. They, you know, brilliant taking penalty. Messi was showing his class. Lataro Martinez um, getting the better of it, you know, getting the better of himself really. Scored, but he was offside. A few little decisions where Argentina were just on top of the game. Now, to be honest, it was an open affair. A few stoppages in there. However, what was, you know, apparent was that Argentina were on top and they should have had more goals um, than they actually went into halftime with. Um, Saudi Arabia, they stuck in there, they held in. You know, the tactic was always there, stay in the game for as long as possible, create as many stoppages as you can, riddle this Argentina team with as much frustration as possible. And they got their 14. You create moments of 14 and Argentina crumbled under the pressure. Big, big goals from the Saudi Arabian team that have put them in a position now where they're top of the group. Denmark and Tunisia take on each other now. And I'm looking forward to watching that. I was watching it in school and I'm not going to lie to you. A brilliant game of football. Um, very surprised. And a big, big statement for the World Cup. We know teams are going to be beating uh, favourites. And it's just brilliant to see. So... Look, guys, let me know what your thoughts are from Argentina. Is this a blip in the road? Will this affect Argentina's road out of the group? Are they to progress? We know Mexico and Poland take on each other at four o'clock, which I think is a big game because Mexico and Poland in their own right, I think whoever wins that really puts a psychological standpoint in the group. Could Argentina find themselves where they are at the bottom of the group by the end of the day? Who would have thought that at the start of the day in particular? But that's the surprises that the World Cup can throw up. Look, not going to lie to you, I think, you know, the amount of added time that has been added onto these games are incredible. I mean, there was 24 minutes of added time in the England game. You know, 13, you know, 18 minutes in this game. I'm just thinking, you know, it's, it's although there's a lot of stoppages in there, it does seem a little bit iffy, I'm not going to lie to you. But at the end of the day, Saudi Arabia, you know, to... By contrast, Saudi Arabia did try and employ the tactics to try and frustrate Argentina. They knew man for man, technically, they were going to have a bit more um, than Saudi Arabia. But what they did was they forced the errors. They they defended deep. Brilliant saves by the goalkeeper. Um, he had man of the match for me. Um, although, you know, they had prolific clinical finishes at the other end of the field. I do think the goalkeeper was, in particular, very, very strong. Let me know, guys, who your man of the match was, but that was mine. Guys, Saudi Arabia just pulled off a big, big upset in the group stage. Is it a surprise? I think it's so, because I think Saudi Arabia are a team that can go very deep. I still think they will, but if they play anything like they did in that second half where they were rushed balls, Di Maria rushing it, they will cause problems. They will, they will be caused a lot of problems by teams that are of a more clinical attitude into the game and you know what I think I'm a bit surprised to be honest with you I, I'm really surprised I did not see that one coming but hey it's the World Cup it's why we watch it it's why we watch it take care easy guys and I will see you all at the next one watch along tonight for France Australia 2 minutes 6.50 I will be live see you all soon take it easy bye